Hey guys, it's Taylor. So today's video is going to be a tutorial on this dark brown smoky eye that I created using the Urban Decay Vice 4 palette that just released for the holiday season. Here it is in all of its glory. I'm super excited to get this video out for you guys because it's something kind of different and yes, I wore my cat suit to film this, so moving on. I'm going to start by priming my eyes with my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This is just the original one. Not only did I thought did I thought not only did I think that it followed suit using an Urban Decay product here but also this is just my absolute favorite eyelid primer anyway now I'm taking this shade called bitter it is the bottom left shade in the palette and I'm going to be applying this first with the Urban Decay brush and then I switched to kind of a fluffier crease brush later but I'm applying this into my crease and then buffing it out really really well to kind of use it as a transition shade as well Now I'm taking this Jelly Pong Pong 2-in-1 eyeliner and shadow pencil in the shade... I do not see a shade name on this, but I'm just applying this all over my lid as kind of a base for the shadows that I'm going to be working with later. And then I'm using a Sigma brush to just kind of blend that out all over my lid. Next I'm just going to reapply a little bit of that shade Bitter back into my crease as my transition shade and make sure to buff it out really well just because I like the diffused warmth that it gives this look. This is a super warm orange color, it's like rusty orange and I think it's perfect as a transition shade for this look and I just want to make sure that you don't lose that warmth. Now I'm going in with the shade Low down here and I'm spritzing a little bit of my e.l.f. makeup mist and set onto a flat shader brush before I dip it into the shadow and then I'm just applying it on my eyelid in sort of a padding and dragging motion. I'm pulling my eyelid top because it really helps with the color payoff of this type of shadow. It makes it super metallic. It helps everything to kind of get on a flat surface of the eyelid instead of having like the little wrinkles and cracks and stuff that you would have in your eyelid normally. So pulling it taut just helps with the color payoff and it helps it to look extra metallic and sparkly. Now I'm going to go in with the shade Delete. It is the bottom right shade right here. It's a perfect dark brown color. And I'm going to be applying that in the outer third of my eye, kind of like in the outer V area into my crease as well. This is just going to really help darken up the look and I think that it added another dimension that was really necessary for this look. I'm also going to blend it out with a little bit more of that shade Bitter or you can just use your brush with no product on it just to make sure that all the colors are blending together well and that you don't lose that transition shade. Now I'm just going to reapply a little bit of the lid shade to make sure that it is nice and saturated and then I'm taking some micellar water on a cotton pad and I'm removing all of the fallout from my face because this low shade is it has a ton of fallout so you want to make sure to get that all off your face before you do your face makeup speaking of face makeup then i'm going to do that off camera and for some reason my camera got like super dark here but anyway moving on i'm going to go ahead and work on the lower lash line now that i finished my face makeup i'm just applying a little bit of the shade delete and the tiniest amount of the shade bitter as well just to kind of balance out the lower lash line with what's happening up top then I'm just applying a little bit of a brow bone highlight as well. I believe that I used my face highlight, which is the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in the shade Moonstone, but you could also use the shade Bones from this palette because it's just the same kind of shimmery highlight. Then I'm applying a little bit of my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara, just because it's a nice, clumpy, dramatic mascara. And then I went for the Salon Perfect Perfectly Glamorous Lashes. I'd never worn these before, and this is the results. I think that they're really pretty. There's some of those like PC lashes, which I kind of like. Then I'm applying a little bit of the shade Delete just to kind of cover up my lash band, which I obviously didn't do that good of a job of, so I wish I'd done a little bit better. And then I'm applying this Flower Cosmetics or Flower Beauty, I forgot what they're called, but um, it's like a chubby lip pencil, which I will leave the name of down below because I can't remember it whatsoever. <laughs> So this is the finished look, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it. I think that it is absolutely perfect for the fall time, which I feel like I say about all my fall tutorials, but like, I am all about that fall makeup life. I am so into it. I love it so much. So I hope you guys like this tutorial. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.